Today, I'm going to be ranking every single Super Smash Bros. control. This is including Nintendo 64, Smash Bros., Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Let's get started. Starting with number 11. The right sideways Joy-Con. Just holding this feels horrible. This makes every single thing about Super Smash Bros. hard in Ultimate. One, because, well, this button is to, is to shield, and this button is to grab. Also, by the way, you can't even taunt. There's no D-pad. And also, pausing is just a lot harder. Um, but unless you add this thing, it's a little better, but... It's still trash. Not to mention how far you have to reach for the for the stick. Seriously, man. Look, look how cramped and uncomfortable your hands are when you're playing this. That's why I'm ranking it at the very lowest bottom. Now for number 10, we have the left sideways Joy-Con. Um, well, first of all, still, you can't taunt, the, gr the the grab and shield buttons are all weird. At least this is a little bit closer, it feels a little bit more comfortable than this monstrosity. Um, yeah, and you can capture moments, but who really needs that? And this just feels weird, see? Like this, this, I know it's supposed to be there for portability for the Nintendo Switch, but, eh, horrible. Number nine, we have the sideways Wii Remote. Okay, first of all, what were they thinking? This is an actual way to play. This is for the Smash Attack Plus, this, and it's a D-pad. There's n no way to um to make it like you know like a stick, but unless you have the the nunchuck, but terrible, terrible. This is like for taunting, I think. Pause and it's 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 just so clunky like why number eight Nintendo 64 controller now this is a just a whole bunch of mess well first of all uh, at least it has a stick right right no nobody cares this is to to grab and this is to shield the trigger. I know this is an this is an older controller and the design makes zero sense. Play this with three hands. But and the buttons are all weird and it's just so uncomfortable. Um it's it's kind of bad. Number seven. Okay. Before I start number seven, I just want to say I do not have this controller on me at the moment, but I have indeed used it. So for the sake of this, I'm going to be using this. The this is the this is the nunchuck for we for we for Smash Bros. Brawl. This is basically the same thing, but um this is okay it's better than the n64 by like that but this is just a little bit better this is the special that thing the that and then yeah number six the nintendo joy cons 
this is all right i guess it the buttons are just so small they're the size of many m m's the triggers not not the best there's they're a little on the smaller side um these things they're a little i don't know what's the word it's just like feels too close you know so like let's compare that to this uh, it feels a lot this feels more closer together you know i know it's supposed to be portable but it's 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 all right it's not the best but it's okay number five the 3ds okay hear me out this is technically a controller Considering they had Super Smash Bros. for 3DS that you could play on the TV on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. So I say it kind of counts as a controller. But I feel like it's a lot, lot better than this because it's just tighter, but I don't know. It, it just feels better. It has this circle pad thingy and um, taunting and then the button layout is pretty good. Um, shield buttons are up here. Shield grab, but it's okay. It's better on, on the TV than like this, of course, but all right. Next one. Number four, I think. All right. The Wii U Pro Controller. Now, this control brings back memories real fast. If you grew up in the Wii U era, which I did, this control was amazing. The best one, in indeed. Um, these, the ZR buttons, they're not super good. Like, look. It's not like a trigger. It's, it's, it's off. Like, look, the Switch one. And this is like a button, so that's the only downside. Besides, this thing, the C stick is up here, which it should have been here, in my opinion. Um, you got your taunts. You have the stick, which is a circle, and uh, pretty good actually. Number three. The Switch Pro Controller. Now, this controller is very, very good. The grip is good. It's good for people with bigger hands. Um, yes, the triggers are just amazing. The bumpers are nice, responsive. The C, the C stick is in the right place where it should be. The buttons are a lot bigger compared to... Itty bitty M and M sized. These are these are mini M and Ms, and these are the big M and M or the regular M and Ms. Way better. Um, yep, very easy to na na navigate. Number two, you guessed it, the original GameCube control from way back in the day. Okay. I like this control. It's very, very nice. The D-pad feels very well. C-stick moves in eight directions. Um, only downside I have about this is that it, there's one on this side and there's not one on this side. Um, these are a little bit weird to me. I don't know. That's just my sense. I don't really like the pressure. The pressure senses. Um, yeah, this one is very good but um if you're using this on a regular switch and on a normal switch uh, just a switch and you're using a gamecube adapter um you won't be able to press the home button so there's just this and yeah very good for smash bros it's been used for uh, like more than 20 years now so yeah number one my personal favorite, the best controller, 
the Switch GameCube controller, the wireless one. Make sure it's wireless, okay? You don't want wires. Wires are bad. So, this controller is amazing. You can go home with the home button, and it's pretty much the same size as this one. It has more buttons here. I l love the Pikachu design, um, but it's not really, like, gaming, or it, it doesn't affect the gameplay, but I just love this Pikachu, though. Um, this, the sticks are amazing. It's, it's the right weight. Um, you don't have to charge it because it takes batteries. Um, what else? Uh, there's, it's symmetrical. The buttons are better than this, in my opinion. These ones, they're a little bit pressured, but not too pressured, you know? And just amazing. All right, that was my ranking of every single control in Super Smash Bros. and all of the games. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Share. It'll really help out the channel. Um, my goal is to get at least about maybe a hundred subscribers. Um, not by the end of the year, of course. Um, probably, probably by February. February 31st. Let's try to get to a hundred subs. That'll really, really, um, make me happy, and, um, yeah, do that, or, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll delete your, your Switch profile. Alright, bye.